Good morning, beautiful people. It's Aisha B here. Welcome to Social Media Trends on the Weekend Show. I am so excited to be here with you this morning. I hope you're taking tips and tricks, of course, from that previous segment. It was so fantastic. All right, let's get straight into Social Media Trends. I will be speaking directly today on Twitter trends because a lot has been going on on Twitter. But let's go ahead and start with our song of the week. It's no other than Joe Boy with Body and Soul. This animation is totally worth it. Take a look. All right, currently that song is trending at number seven on YouTube. Go ahead and check it out. And let me know what you all think on our Instagram page or, of course, on our Twitter page, which is active right now. Let's go ahead to our first story for today, of course, which has to focus on fuel scarcity here in Abuja. Of course, many Nigerians took to Twitter to share with us that they don't understand what is going on and why the current phases of fuel scarcity. Nigerians don't deserve this, especially at a time like this right now where things are extremely sensitive. Let's take a look at some reactions from Nigerians and what they had to say on Twitter. For us today, I mean, even coming this morning, we, I saw queues at the fuel station and some even have no fuels at all. During the week, and of course, it's been a difficult week for many Nigerians this week. I hope this weekend will be better. If not, let's take a look at some reactions to see how we can prompt ways to get the government to fix this issue. It's totally, definitely not been at the right time. And of course, it's been difficult getting to work. It's been difficult keeping commitments because you wake up and then there's no fuel one day. The next day, there are no queues. It's just a lot of back and forth. And a comment here from Aproko Doctor, fuel scarcity is this bad for this long and we are still celebrating full fuel tanks in the name of banter. Instead of insisting on solving the problem, ironic that Nigeria is one of the largest oil producing countries. It's a shame. Another reaction we have here from Yar Kafan Chang. Her name is Indica, so she says APC has given us fuel scarcity as present continuous tense. Do you understand that? Present continuous tense. Very, very strong message here. Let's take a look at another reaction from a Nigerian here who goes by the name Dallas Frame, Adekunle Dallas. He says, as it stands, APC has the highest members, the highest supporters and citizens on his side. If you really want Nigeria to be better, be nice to another Nigerian around you. All if our major complaints are caused by people in our neighborhood and not the presidential candidates or our government. Hmm, I had to put this on among this because I believe this particular user was trying to be a bit more contradictory towards this statement. He's saying that maybe it's not the fault of the government, rather it's our people. And then he goes further to say we should actually hold our hold accountable our Senate heads and those of us that are probably part of our local governments. We should hold them accountable and not just the current government in power. Whew. All right, going on to our next story for today. We have the Weeks Kid teaser. He actually teased this week about having a joint tour with David O. And I left many fans in a quick uproar because when did this start? How was this initiated and from where? Let's take a look at some reactions, of course, starting from what Whiskid put out on his Snapchat page. Let's take a look at this. He says, after my meal tour, my Made in Lagos tour, David O and I are going on a tour. Save your coins. I know one here, Pim. Whoa, that was the first reaction we've got from Whiskid. And everyone went a bit crazy. I have a video to show you here to see what they were like years before the alleged beef with them on stage. Take a look at this clip. Something like that coming up. Maybe if this rumor is true. I know Whiskey doesn't usually joke around, but this week he's been very rampant on his social media pages. A tweet here from Slay Jimmy. He says, if this Whiskey and David O tour no reach Lagos, make everybody just go buy gloves because I go cause 
fight. Another one tweet we have here from another user. This is very interesting for Nigerians because it came out of nowhere. This is from Sorry This Is. She says, Whiskit and Davido touring together. What is going on? Maybe she's stating that she does not want to have them come back together. Maybe she's saying she's not going to have room for this. It's a lot of reactions right now on Twitter because we don't know if this is true. David O is yet to put out a statement concerning this rumor. I would have to say rumor from WizKid because we don't know if he's playing games. Another tweet we have here from another user. I think he said, this is um, from Russian Big 7. She says, they said Burner isn't that guy, but Burner is too small. WizKid and David o are bigger than Burner. By the end of the day, WizKid and David o want to form a tag team just so they can compete. But what they don't know is that Burner Boy is still bigger than both of them combined. I wonder when Burner Boy got into this equation. I can see that many Nigerians are totally excited for this upcoming tour, if it will happen. Of course, this user is still worried about Burner Boy, which he is not part of the actual equation. But you know what? There is a competition probably going by. I'm not very sure. We have here from Sam PT. He says, what Whiskey FC is expected from us yesterday, but we just had to disappoint. Peace and love will never be an option. Hashtag Whiskey, hashtag David O. Oh, this user is not ready to have Whiskey and David O together again. But you know what? I believe many Nigerians are ready to see this unity because it's powerful, as you saw in that previous video. Next story for today is, of course, Temi Otedola and her fiance, Mr. Easy. She left behind a cryptic message on her Instagram page where, le where it left Nigerians wondering, are they having a breakup? Is this an allegation? What is really going on? I'll show you here the message she left on her Instagram page. But we all know that Tima Tudola is an actress. She does have scenes that she's going out for. I'm not very sure what this means, but take a look at it. She says, your next play is always after your last cry. Was she in tears or not? All right, let's look at another reaction here from her. She also stated that it's Temi Otedola's season. Hmm, what does that really mean? All right, let's look at another reaction from Nigerians about this particular alleged breakup. We have here from Lord Hooker. She says, nobody is immune to or above breakfast. From Holami, he says, make sure you just use our whole body first. We have here from Ifai Olosi. He says, now nah, tears of joy, no be breakfast. That's a very good comment right there. We have another slide here from another um, Twitter user. Let's take a look at it. We have here from Biola Nance. She says, the internet is a wild one. To think that I saw the innocent post and didn't even speculate this. I should take a chill pill, please. We have here from Oluwole. He says, I'm very sure now copy fit chop better breakfast with the emoji of pancakes. <laughs> Nigerians are wild this week on Twitter. But of course, uh, I believe they are still very much together because Mr. Easy actually took a comment to post on her previous um, engagement. She had from an endorsement deal with the brand. Hmm. Whew. All right, going on straight into Big Brother Titans. Like I mentioned last week, I'll be giving you updates every week about what's been going on in the house. Now, of course, there's been a lot of comments from Nigerians that they're not really feeling the housemates that are representing us in the Big Brother house. South African housemates seem to have a bit more of a pull and an urge to win these competitions. We have one particular housemate that stood out. Her name is Kosi. Take a look at her. Hmm. Beautiful, isn't she? Kosi actually is a very competitive housemate, and she has won a task already. Nigerians and many users were actually very, 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 very surprised and encouraging towards her win in the house this week. We also have another housemate titled, uh, these South Africans are quite tricky, but his name is Tabang. Tabang, too, has been taking a lot of Nigerians by the wave. Look at look Tabang right here. I mean, he's, he's really beautiful, isn't he? <laughs> Comments from Nigerians about how the South African housemates are looking really great. And there's a lot of comparisons between Nigerians and the South Africans. A tweet here from Ona. She says, BB Titans, Kosi is the girl to look out for. She's so competitive. Hashtag Kosi Twala. These names are so beautiful. Another comment here we have from another user, of course. I believe it's from Sarza Mathemjwa. These are probably South African names. He says, one thing Tabang would not do is disappoint. Small boy, but mighty indeed. Hashtag BB Titans 2023. Tabang won his competition during the week, and it took a lot of us by surprise. He is small, but mighty. We have here from Jewel 2 bb She says, my small and mighty Tabang continue being competitive with the fire emoji. Hashtag BB Titans. Now, we're looking forward to seeing what's going on with our Nigerian housemates. We want them to win. We want them to bring more fire to this game. We want more of what is going on. We want ships to be passed as well. We have a comment here from Chadiwa4. He says, Kosi is so competitive. What? I curse that golden ball, Sha, because we would be $1,000 rich now. Chai, it a pain me. Hashtag BB Titans. It's been an exciting week. And of course, I have to share with you a quick ship that was made in the house. Oh, look at them right here. 
these are South Africans, of course. And for me, I'm just wondering why so soon? But let's look at some comments from Nigerians and also some South Africans on Twitter about this particular ship and why they love them so much in the house. Although it is a bit too early, but we, nothing is too soon to start in BB Brothers house. Take a look at this tweet from Aisha the Shipper. Aisha the Shipper is a hint there of what she's all about. It says, look at them. Yo, it's so hot in here. Hashtag BB Titans. Next tweet here we have the BB housemates, actually. Let's look at the next tweet right here. Of course, the names are Kananga Jr. and Tassa, Tassi, if I got that right. I love how Kananga Jr. and Tassi don't follow each other around all day. They go out during the day to socialize with others. That reminds me of another housemate from last season. <laughs> Have a little moments for time to time, but return back to the same bed at night. Cuties, like if you love them. Hashtag BB Titus 2023. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I love how this is all coming along on Big Brother Titan's house. We have one more um, tweet here from official Somi41, who actually took out time to say maybe there is a bit of, would I say, um, un unfairness going on with BB Brother House going on. He says the multi-choice group actually wants a South African to win the show. I guess that's why they have the most screen time and just want to push the Ninja housemates as manipulatives. Hashtag BB Titans. I don't know how true that is, but let me know what you think about the time that our Nigerians are getting in the house right now. We want more from them. Of course, everyone is aware that we need that Ninja pool, that Ninja power. But that's all I have for you this week on Social Media Trends. My name is Aisha B. Please follow me at Aisha B on Instagram and follow the Weekend Show NG on IG and on Twitter. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.